Quite simply, without maths, there'd be no science or technology. Every idea, every invention and every discovery uses maths somewhere along the line. Sat-navs, for example, have found their way into millions of cars over the last decade. You even find them now on the latest smartphones. But did you realise that when you hear the phrase, turn around where possible, it's the result of a complex set of calculations using geometry, algebra, calculus and probability. Your location in space is derived from the intersection of spheres representing signals emanating from positioning satellites. We use sat-navs to help us get from A to B in the shortest possible time. That's something that ex-fighter pilot Andy Green is very interested in. He's a maths graduate, but he's probably better known for being the fastest man on Earth. Not content with breaking the sound barrier in a car travelling at 763 miles an hour, his team is now building the vehicle Bloodhound that will reach over 1,000 miles an hour. Every last detail of Bloodhound is analysed mathematically. There is no margin for failure. In fact, the conditions will be so extreme that even wind tunnel testing is not possible. Everything has to be done in virtual simulation. When it comes to the real thing, Andy Green reckons his mathematical education has given him the mental discipline to think quickly and logically under extreme pressure. That's probably just as well, as the pressures involved will be up to 12 tonnes per square metre. But even Andy Green can never hope to travel as fast as protons inside the Large Hadron Collider. Deep underground in Switzerland, in a ring 27 kilometres in diameter, colder than deep space and engineered to micrometer precision, some of the world's best scientific minds are endeavouring to recreate the Big Bang, the birth of the universe. There are billions of particles travelling nearly as fast as the speed of light, so when they do collide, it's over very quickly. Making sense of it all using four-dimensional vectors and the laws of conservation of energy and momentum is going to take a lot longer. When they're not burrowing underground, scientists trying to understand the origins of our universe are probing into the outer reaches of space. You may be surprised to learn that something that many of us now use in our own homes was first developed to look for black holes. Early attempts to create a wireless connection to the internet were beset with problems. The radio waves bounce off every nearby surface and create a jumble of distorted echoes. Then scientists realised that a technique that had been developed to unscramble radio signals from the edge of black holes could be adapted, and Wi-Fi became a reality. That technique is known to mathematicians as the Fourier transform. One real-life problem that has math to thank for its solution is noise reduction. Removing unwanted noise to leave a clean signal is used widely in a variety of fields, from audio processing to medical imaging to making financial decisions. It's true for many reasons that without maths, we just wouldn't be where we are today.